Good morning and thank you for tuning in to our service today. As we wait, uh, we thought we'd share with you some ponderings that have kind of struck us during this time in terms of what exactly defines essential or non-essential. We hope you'll enjoy these uh, humorous skits as we wait for worship to begin. Sunday, right? Why aren't you getting ready for church? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm going through all the news here and trying to figure it out. I, I saw on Twitter that uh, the president is declaring churches as essential and that we should open up. But the email I got from our bishop is asking us not to meet in person. And meanwhile, the governor says that we can meet as long as we only have 10 people, no more than 10 people if we meet outside. But looking at the weather forecast, it looks like it's going to rain. I don't know. Maybe we just need to stick to online worship for a while. Okay. Hey kids, did you get your teeth brushed? No, Mom. I heard on the news that the dentist wasn't essential. Aw, oh, guys, that, you still need to brush your teeth. But, Mom, I don't have any teeth. Well, we may not be able to have birthday parties. Celebrating is essential. Happy birthday, Tirza. Happy birthday, Adam. Uh, <laughs> yeah, come on in. Everything okay in here? I'm having the worst time with my contacts. Well, how long have you been working them? Three months. Three months? Don't you have daily contacts? Why have you been wearing them for three months? Why don't you just put a new one in? I don't have any more. I never made it back in for my recheck. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey hon, I'm back from Menards. Oh hey, did you get something essential? Yeah, check this out. Pink flamingos. Oh my. Uh, how is this essential? Well, let me switch hats here and I'll tell you. See, I'll put my Elko New Market Chamber of Commerce hat on. See, Elko Baseball, they're members. Our Chamber of Commerce is doing a scholarship fundraiser for next year's graduating class. We actually want to raise enough funds to give away two $1,000 scholarships, but we need to raise money this year. And so to honor graduates this year in time of social distancing and distance learning, we have pink flamingos. You can make a donation through our website and we will gladly decorate their yard with pink flamingos to honor them. Find out more on our website. That's great, hon. But did you get the paint I asked for? Ah, oh, shoot, I knew I forgot something. Hey, hon, are you planning to go to the grocery store? Yeah, I am. I'm just, I'm actually just working on the list right now. Great. Would you mind picking me up some Mountain Dew? Is that really essential? Well, it is if I want to finish editing this service in time. You know, all joking aside, the term essential versus non-essential is a term that's kind of one that I struggle with. You know, I was thinking about that this week and thinking of my friends that have businesses that have been labeled non-essential, and I was thinking of the struggle that that sometimes creates in our lives. You see, while we might think of services as essential or some services as non-essential, when it really comes down to it, when we hear those words, sometimes we apply it to ourselves. Now, you could argue that I really need a haircut and that my stylist is essential right now because you are tired of looking at this, whatever this is, that's growing all over. But my hairstylist is essential, not, not necessarily because of the service that she provides, but because of who she is. You see, we care about the people in our lives. We care about those who are out of work. We care about those that we might not be able to frequent or support their business. And just because something is labeled as not essential doesn't mean they are not essential to us. 
And it doesn't mean that you are not essential to God. You see, we, we love our hairstylists, we care for them, we have a relationship with them, just like our Heavenly Father longs to have a relationship with us. And so as we prepare our hearts for worship today, I just want to invite you to join me in a word of prayer. God, we recognize that there is no one who is not essential in your eyes, but you love each and every one of us. You're willing to give your son for us. And so we come before you today, whatever struggles, whatever burdens we may carry, and we lay them at your feet, knowing that you are a God who hears us, a God who cares for us. And so we pray, Lord, that you would come into our homes here and now, that you would meet with us as we begin worship this morning. We pray for all this in your name. Amen. have pink flamingos. You can make a donation through our website and we will gladly decorate a graduating senior's yard with pink flamingos. To our I totally forgot the skit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? I got the wrong hat on. <laughs> what do I do with it? Did you bring it up or in? Or? <laughs> I'll have to watch the video to find out. <laughs> what did I do with it? Did I throw it in here? Oh, it's on the front of the hood. Right about there. Ah, here's a dead spot. Uh-oh, she's looking. <laughs> <laughs> 